education that you poured out the first great awakening. You can see it here on this memorial, guys. Uh, in July the 8th, in, in 1741, Jonathan Edwards, sinners in the hand of an angry God. Ooh, many this of you are praying, watching the video live, people watching the broadcast later, sharing the video, that this fire would be released to you from this very location today where the height of the Great Awakening was poured out and years later we remember your fame and we say pour it out from the womb. This is the womb and the birthplace of Great Awakening. Pour it out in America again, oh God. Pour it out for those that are praying in their city, in their nation. Pour out that fire again. We need more than revival, but awakening and transformation. That sweeping move of your spirit, God, from this very location where it all started nearly 300 years ago. God, we open up that well and we release even the angels. Come on, pray that even the angels that were assigned to the great awakening, those in the cloud of witnesses that would honor this moment and this prayer from this place. God. Maybe we can cross over quick. Come on, guys. Don't want to get run over. Come on. This is live in reality TV as it gets. <laughs> We're taking you right now to the famous Amy Simple McPherson House here at Angela's Temple. We're talking about the prophetic word of Doug Edison and the books of revival and the mantle for Doug Hollywood. Edison and the books of revival and the mantle for Hollywood and it's all about the prophetic word of Doug Edison and the books of revival and the mantle for Hollywood. And it's all happening this summer, this August. Revival Harvest America. And are you praying? Can you be here? But check this out. This is the house, right, Pastor? Yeah. And uh, Amy's house. Uh, we're going right to pray in just a minute here, guys. But just a plaque honoring uh, that George Whitfield was here, everybody, and uh, that he was preaching. George Whitfield, uh, the famous evangelist from the Great Awakening, okay, in the 18, uh, 1800, 1765. Anyway, uh, we're rallying right now all up and down the East Coast. So I had to come to this spot today because of just the, the honoring the wells of the First Great Awakening and the fact that uh, George Whitfield. So I'm actually walking here and take a look at this. I'm walking here, guys, and I'll try to adjust the camera. There we go. I'm walking here. This was the, the foundation of the original church and, uh, you know, all those spots there where the windows where the church was. And you come on down here. This is the foundation of the original church where George Whitfield came three times. And then you get down here to the front where my good friend, Pastor Mike Rogers, Church of New Bern, right? Church of His Presence is standing in this would have been where George Whitfield uh, preached. Yes. Right. And yes. so we're going to just stand together here. Can, can you want to take this camera yeah. city spread and, uh, to uh, Rome, spread to Rochester, other cities? So God released the fire of Great Awakening again today. And there's a portal here. People have written, <laughs> right here. written about this spot. I've read it in other accounts, and it comes mm -hmm. up from the ground fire. into your legs. You can feel Ooh. it. And you just come here, downtown New Bern, near Christ Episcopal Church, this outdoor, and it's this... <laughs> pavement in the center. Wow. And you stay on that, you just George open your Whitfield. spirit and you yeah. say, Lord, wow. This is awesome. Shuck Fire. Up. Fire of awakening. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, come on. Pray at home. Pray at home. Fire. So come on. You guys Let just. The fire spring up in your city. Open up your spirit and just say, Lord, on, I want to receive this. Fire. I that was in the spirit. Now, most people here don't know the details of an encounter I had a year ago, but I was carried to this site in a revival in Ohio. I was carried here in the spirit oh, wow. to that rock yep, and had yep. an encounter with the angel of the Lord that gave right. this big prophecy yes. in Ohio. Oh, wow. And you know, But I had been here one time in the natural many years ago, but when I came back in the spirit, I yep. didn't realize in the beginning feel it, feel it. that it was to this site. Whoa. And oh, then I wow. looked down and saw in yep. the spirit that plaque yep. that's on that rock, yeah. and and I was having a spiritual you know, encounter. I went, Wait, this is where I said, I've been there in the natural. And now, for us to be back here today, and of course, the Lord has come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, do that. I'm going to come over to the rock. Let's come, come on this way. Yeah. Let's get around this rock, everybody. Yeah. Maybe we can just hold hands because we're going to be a mighty impartation here. Yeah. The memorial stone. And, and any time, we, again, you know, biblically we read in the Old Covenant, any time that God would do anything mighty, He would say, set up a memorial stone for the generations. 
So as we come today to this very memorial stone and we remember how God saved a city and expelled, they said every demon was expelled from the city. No wonder such a mobilization of the occult came in six months later to challenge the revival because... Oh, God, open our hearts today yes. to receive yes. the command from the very spirit of revival that's in this place as we ignite and receive the command from the very spirit of revival that's in this place as we ignite hearts today to receive the command from the very spirit of revival that's in this place as we ignite unite. We reignite and we unite together. Come on. And we pray that that very fire, it was Pentecost fire, it was yeah. Holy Ghost fire. Oh, it was the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. The Lord, that very fire of revival. And it's in our bones today that you would release it fresh, fresh, fresh fire. Fresh, fresh, fresh fire today from the sight of the second bread away today. Pray for your neighbor on your right. Blessing. Pray for your neighbor on your left. Blessing. Pray for their church. Pray for their ministry. Pray for their city. Hallelujah. We got Canada here. We got Japan here. We got other cities here. Come on. Pray for your neighbor on your right and left. Pray for their ministry. Lord, I pray that David Hunnaman, his ministry, not only in Louisiana, but Houston, and around the world, and not just in that's going to happen. And there was this thing that we were sharing today, Todd, on brokering the anointing, how we're all brokers of the glory and uh, brokers of stewards the Stewards and stewards. Dispensers. Yeah. Brokers. So we, we just release that. If you're watching, yeah. you know, we're, we're encouraging you to just understand that you might think it's just nutty to come to a site where a rock is and you say, what in the world could be on that rock? Well, I tell you what, there's residue on it. How about that? So you get close to that, and, and if you're a sponge for the anointing, you approach it. It's not a rock. It's not an inanimate object. It's something that has a residue of the glory on it, and you want to tap into that. And so that's what we've been doing. We just... <laughs> I'm just going to get a picture. I just got to get it. All right, Todd, you want to close I'll take this pictures out? with anybody that wants a picture in front of the rock. Uh, real quick. And the thing about the elephant, it wasn't just an ordinary elephant. It was a wild elephant. A wild elephant. It was radical, 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 radical. Oh, no. Incredible miracles. And, you know, just great things that work. And people say, well, it didn't work, did it? Look, Todd's still not back in ministry. He, yes, he is. You just don't know what's going on with him. But the Lord told me when I did it, because... I didn't, I didn't think I was supposed to restore him. The Lord hadn't spoken anything to me. When Peter Wagner, on stage in public in front of everybody at the Lakeland Revival. With this affirmation, we will move to a formal commissioning, equivalent to offering the right hand of fellowship as the three apostles did to Paul in Jerusalem. This commissioning represents a powerful spiritual transaction taking place in the invisible world. With this in mind, I take the apostolic authority that God has given me, and I decree to Todd Bentley, your power will increase. Your authority will increase. Your favor will increase. Your influence will increase. Your revelation will increase. I also decree that a new supernatural strength will flow through this ministry. A new life force will penetrate this move of God. Government will be established to set things in their proper order. God will pour out a higher level of discernment to distinguish truth from error. New relationships will surface to open the gates for the future. We were singing that song tonight. The spirit came on me and said, Todd, because you asked, like very few men on the face of the earth asked, to see my glory, I will begin a revival through you. 
that will pass beyond gifts into the very heart that moves God to release gifts to his children. Kind of pointed to me in a situation and kind of laid the thing on me, which we hadn't even talked about. Well, I love Peter Wagner. I appreciate him. Uh, I respect him enough. I said, if he believes this, I'm going to take it to the Lord and inquire of the Lord if it's something I should do. Well, you know what the Lord said to me? He gave me one scripture. He said, the righteous fall seven times, yet rise yet again. I knew what he meant. I knew it meant, yes, you're supposed to deal with this, but I also knew there's not going to be a perfect restoration. We're going to see it. Todd go through several things where he gets gets tripped up, maybe seven times, but he his getting back up and fighting on pleases God more than the fall the falling, the failures, or whatever else tripped him up. Because it takes more faith to get back up after you've fallen and to fight on. And listen, you're going to hear from that guy again. The whole world's going to hear from him, but this country especially is going to hear from him again. And guess what? I can tell you without a shadow of doubt, we're not through hearing from Mike Bickle. <laughs> ¿Qué tal, mis amigos? Welcome to my channel. Please support your local food bank and drug and alcohol center. So we're going to do a video regarding the fire angels and redigging the revival of portal power in order to... All right. So this is a man named Todd Bentley. If you don't know who Todd Bentley is, he is disqualified for ministry. Sexting. Credible allegations of adultery, sexing, and substance abuse spanning 15 years. Many people have been harmed by this man's false teaching, false prophecy, and what he has done in his private life, including ungodly and immoral conduct, including adultery, substance abuse, sex scenes, according to the panel. According on the worded testimony of James Gohl, Jan Harmon, Don Fisk, Fitto, Bishop Harry Jackson, and we are keeping, I was, you know, we're keeping everybody in prayer on my channel. There is a war on in the charismatic community with a hyper extreme false apostolic. I'm third generation Pentecostal. I'm part of the charismaticals. And it's important that the true prophetic wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, discernment of spirits, gift of tongues, interpretation of tongues, healing, this true spiritual gifts. One of them is not opening up fire tunnels of portal power and Hollywood mountains. Sorry. So I have to hit the street. I'm an advocate of you in my channel. I don't, you know what? My, my viewers are very savvy. <laughs> my viewers are very smart and I learn from my comment section. So, you know, I'm not really going to do the portals. You just watch that. The womb of the birthplace, the Hollywood, the mantle of, for Hollywood. And of course, sponging the anointing off the residue of the rock. So comment below if you have any thoughts on uh, the mantle for Hollywood. The wells of the first great awakening, literally. And opening up portals, sponging the anointing off the residue of the rock. And I'm done with it. You know, I'm going to put this on my website. I have been, the reason I just did this video, this is my website, and so if you're, if we're back, so there it is there, that's, for whatever reason, it's not playing, but Todd wants you to watch this video, it was live 2020-22, Sean Foyt, and the theology is all these, many of these videos, there's Jeff Jansen, that's um, William Brannan's. William Brandon's an interesting study that he claimed to be this the spirit of Elijah. 
the Seventh Church age. And depending on who he was talking to, he would just change up his theologies. And of course, tremendous amount of false prophecies as well. And that's Jeff Jansen. And for the record, Be Benny Johnson's Hugging Charles Finney Graveyard is still posted on her Instagram, uh, the late Benny Johnson. And um, these Bethel Church, grave soaking. Anyways, here it is here. Bill Johnson, I'll give you some theology what, right here. This is uh, the physics of heaven. And then we'll read the Bible. The physics of heaven. Chapter 4, Recovering Our Spiritual Inheritance by a man named Bill Johnson out of Bethel, Redding, California. This is the physics of heaven. Unclaimed mantles. When truth... All right. What happened? Unclaimed mantle. There are anointings, mantles, revelations, and mysteries that have lived unclaimed, literally where... What's going on here? They were... Sorry. There we go. Where they were left. That's the theology. So if you're on, you're like, why are they going in and sponging in the anointings and opening up new portals inside of the memorial stones? Or why is Sean Foyd on the grave? The idea is to get as close as you can um, when it says here where they were left because the generation that walked them never passed, passed them on. I believe it's possible for us to recover realms of anointing Realms of insight and realms of God that have been unattained for decades simply by choosing to reclaim them and appropriate future generations. So when it says here, simply by choosing to reclaim them, for an example, Todd Bentley, I don't know why my computer seems, sorry, Todd Bentley, so people give him the money and he can afford to fly around and go to these different locations. Same with Sean. So when Sean Foyd travels around uh, to these different locations, grabbing the Quaker mantle, uh, there's Charles Finney with his child. Mantles, father-son impartation. Getting the Evan Roberts, Smith Wiggerworth. He can afford to, to do this theology Normal people that pack a lunch and go to work, save up, go to church, read their Bibles, live an abundant life in Christ Jesus. <laughs> this repulses Christians. Why would you ever? That's the idea is to get his face and his lips as close to the, the dead person laying inside of the grave. He's he's sponging or reacclaiming the anointings. And uh, that's where it is, is that recovering realms of anointings, realms of insight, realms of God have been unattained for decades simply by flying to those locations, right, choosing to reclaim them, getting your face as close as you can to the corpse, and perpetrating them for future generations. You know, and he, they're not alone. This is very popular. So for an example, this is a couple. I want to introduce our next uh, amazing friend, new friend, really, Lillian, and she is great-granddaughter of uh, the uh, beloved Smith Wigglesworth, we, who we all love. He's inspiring wow. us still yeah. to this day. So that's and Smith Wigglesworth's granddaughter. That's Sean getting his lips as close as he can to the where the Smith Wigglesworth has been buried. Lillian, we feel Ooh. the fire. Yeah. And, uh, and we, 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 we see the, the gene that you're carrying oh. from your great-grandfather and you're wow. carrying it so well. My wife uh, has <laughs> laid on the grave of your grandfather several times along with many of us soaking that anointing. In. So when it says here, along with many others of us soaking the anointing in, she's been on the grave, you know. There are people that are locking up the bodies now because of these these um, hyper extreme charismatics. For an example, this is the golden key that Ben Lim has. People are going at night and digging down in order to get closer to the body. And you think about if you're desperate, you know, if you're desperate and you have the theology that there's unclaimed healing mantles buried. Well, this is um, Catherine Kuhlman. They had to go 
block her body up because they were going in at nighttime. People were going in at night and digging down. In fact, in this very video, how you doing, brother? To this vi video, ultimately, where they're in the graveyard, mantle powers of Catherine Kuman. And sorry, before we go any further, I'm gonna get some more coffee. If you don't know what you're watching right now, that's the key. That's the golden key that Ben Lim has, and he's doing guided tours inside of which grave was this one? Catherine Kuman. Mm. All right, so they, they call out for, I mean, I just wanted to show you where they're, it almost as if they're digging down. You can come watch this video. I also said in this video, I was imagining if you are visiting a family member and you're in the graveyard visiting your grandma, or your mom, and all of a sudden you look over at Ben Lim and all these people laying on the tombstones. Does. There, did you see that video oh, ultimately? Sorry. See? Feather that fell from the sky. Did you see that? Do you see this right here? I, if you can see, this is in front of her grave. It looks like to me that some, those are finger marks where they have been clawing down to get closer to the body. Because in front of the other memorials, there's no holes just in front of hers. Spoke to me and said, um, even as Kim Clement passed, the Lord said, as a sign and a wonder, people are going to start receiving feathers as a sign of... So, feathers, that's, um, if you don't understand, Bill Johnson saying the angels are losing all their feathers. There's feathers, there's the feathers in the church are falling down. There's feathers in the restaurants. There's feathers coming down. There's feathers everywhere. The feathers, the angels are losing all their feathers. There's hundreds and hundreds of feathers everywhere. Now, we are still waiting to see if they could produce a single angel feather. I was thinking about it. You know, there isn't any angel feathers in the British Museum or the Canadian Museum. It would be the first legitimate angel feathers that, you know, all right. Transference of mantles. And then my friend messaged me and said she had a dream where in the dream, out of her mouth came out a whole bundle of feathers. So inside of a dream, some lady, a whole bunch of angel feathers came out of her mouth. This is the theology of the angel feathers. Out of her mouth. And I believe that the Lord is going to release feathers like never before. So He's could gonna... you imagine? All right, I'm done this video. Could you imagine if you're visiting your grandma and you look over and you see this man laying on grandma's tomb? It's like a desecration of... And then there's another lady. She's... Here, my case go. These, these mantles. Thank you, Holy Spirit. These mantles. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I pray for your daughter here. Raise up an Esther call anointing in Jesus' name. Roboco! An Esther call anointing, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, for such a time as it's release, release, release. Increase, increase the seer realm anointing on her life. The seer realm anointing. Increase, increase, increase. Fire! Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Excuse me, can you get off my grandma's grave? All right. So you can go watch those videos. There's the theology. Bill Johnson and keeping everyone that has been harmed by Todd Bentley, the spiritual manipulation, the global church. It is a responsibility. I'm a Canadian too. In fact, I built a house in Gibsons. He's from Gibsons. We're about the same age. And he knows my, like, APA, Abbotsford Pentecostal Church. I've actually given my testimony there. Todd used to go there. And I first heard about Todd Bentley when I was going to a church called Christian Life Assembly. And, um, you know, so, and I, ha and just for the record, so everybody knows, I have never accepted Todd Bentley's apostolic authority. He has been disqualified from day one regarding the kicking old ladies in the face with his biker boots. And um, I've never accepted Todd Bentley. And baptizing people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Shikiti Bam. Second Timothy three. Um, but understand this: there'll be that in the last days there'll come times of difficulty for people to be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unpleasable, 
slanderous, and without self-control. Brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pressure rather than lovers of God, having an appearance of godliness, but denying its power. For anyone, for among them are those who creep into household, who capture weak women, burdened with sins and led astray by various passions, always learning and never are able to arrive at the knowledge of the truth. Just as Janus and Jamboree opposed Moses, so these men also oppose the truth. Men corrupt in the mind and disqualified regarding the faith. But they will not get very far, for their folly will be plain for all, as it was for those men. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment, like the video. What's your perspective on all of this? And have a great day. So may the Lord bless you, keep you strong in the faith, and remember, Brother John loves you.